Dear Madeline. Dear Mary. Okay. We're doing a video together this week because um, I didn't do one on Monday. So we're just going to wrap both our videos into one this week. Okay, so today we are actually going to show you guys how to make coffee. In, in a French press while we're in France. Very fun. Um, so I started off by washing out our French press and I put four teaspoons, and by teaspoon I mean like a teaspoon of coffee in there. And Maddie went to the kitchen and she boiled some water. And making coffee in a French press is pretty simple. So we'll just start by pouring our water over our coffee. It's gonna be a little hard because we don't have a kettle, we just have a pot. So hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. For two, five, not forty-five. Okay, and voila! So now that the coffee has steeped for about four minutes, we're going to very, very slowly lower the plunger into the coffee. You have to do it very slowly, or else coffee will squirt out. And we're done. So now we're gonna try it for the first time. Tastes like the coffee from my church. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not bad, it's better than nothing, which is always. Fun. It's better than the instant coffee we've been drinking. Yeah, that's true, so. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a few ways to get more natural energy rather than just drinking six cups of coffee in the morning. I'm an avid coffee advocate, so when we first got here and we weren't able to drink coffee, I was having a lot of trouble, like, handling it. So, one of the main things that I did was just making sure that you get enough sleep. That is the, really, truly the only way to have enough energy, is to get enough sleep. You need to be getting at least eight hours of sleep every night, and I'm not the best about it, so I can attest to the fact that you really need it and you perform better when you have it. Uh huh. And it's not just about how much you sleep, it's about how you sleep. Because I know people who can sleep 12 hours on a weekend if they don't have class, and yet they're still exhausted when they wake up. So it's important to have a sleep schedule. So go to bed and wake up at the same times every day. Um, and that will really just help you. It'll help you sleep deeper because your body is prepared to sleep at those same times. Um, and so when you so you don't need to sleep as much. Like really you should only be getting eight hours of sleep every night. Eight to ten. Mm -hmm. Another great way actually to get energy is to exercise. That might seem a little counterproductive because you're like working really hard, how does that give you energy? But like getting out, doing some yoga. Um, I have really bad back pain, so Maddie sent me this great post with all these yoga poses in it. And they're really energizing, I've been doing them in the morning, they've been helping my back a lot. And they just kind of wake me up, make me feel stretched and awake, drink some water. That just Living that slightly healthier lifestyle in that sense is really something that wakes you up. And also, like, even if you're not much of an exerciser, which I know you're not a mm -hmm. huge fan of exercise, um, you don't necessarily need to be doing, like, running or sports uh, in order to be doing stuff. But, like, even if you have a day off where you can kind of have a lazy day, you should still be getting out and doing stuff. Like, that's something that we've been doing these past couple weeks because we haven't had a ton of classes and we haven't had a ton of stuff that we need to do, but yet we don't 
we try not to sit around all day <laughs> yeah. and watch Netflix. We could easily, but at least once a day we try to go out and go for a walk um, or go and try to do something mm -hmm. so that we're, we're actually active. Because the more active you are, the easier it is to be active. It's kind of, it's just like lifting weights. In order to be stronger in lifting weights, you gotta lift bigger weights. Also, it's important uh, to think about your eating habits. Mm -hmm. If you're eating a lot of junk food, really gross food, like lots of chips, like I love Cheetos, you can't get them here, but I do love Cheetos, I love chocolate, I love all those things. Um, they're not going to give you energy though, and if you focus on things that it's that'll give you lots of energy, lots of fruits and vegetables, making sure you get a well-balanced diet, you need dairy and meat, fruits and vegetables and grains, you need all of those in your life to make you healthy. So get a I lot of see. natural energy, not just like artificial energy like caffeine from coffee as we drink coffee, mm -hmm. but... So you really have to make sure that you know how to get energy without coffee. Yeah, you should not be reliant on like one thing it, to get your energy. Because what happens when you don't have that thing? Mm -hmm. Or what happens when you have a heart attack and your doctor's like, you can't drink coffee anymore? So I think... I don't think so. I don't know. If, I'll ask my grandpa. If he's I'm, had a heart attack or two. If I'm told I can't drink coffee anymore, I'll just go. I'll just go She'll just die. Sincerely, Sincerely Sophistication. sophistication.